Three, two, one, go. So then the first fight of the night, which docks are the favourites in this one? Conquering Crown, still a bit unproven in the war zone. So which doctor should win this fight fairly easily, but who knows, anything could happen. Leading some nice good shots to the wheels and to the sides of Conquering Crown. Seem a bit dazed by this. They can't really get their weapon into play that much. Not driving particularly well. Which doctor, a good start by them. If they keep this up, this should be their fight to lose. Conquering Crown still being hit yet again by Witch Doctor now grinding away at the front of Conquering Crown's wedge and some poor driving by both machines actually Witch Doctor now coming in for the slam Conquering Crown in a very vulnerable position here they really can't do much at all and they're being counted down see the countdown timer 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 5 seconds to get away I don't think they're going to seem to be wedged in there and that is the end of that. Witch Doctor take the victory. So then Witch Doctor move on to round two. But who will join them? Let's find out now. Three, two, one, go. So Tombstone, the favourites for this fight. But on their back already. Courtesy of Black Widow. Now, can Tombstone get down from that position? I think they've... I think they're stopped. Black Widow might commit one of the biggest upsets we could have possibly asked for yes that's that Tombstone they've lost they're out in round one Black Widow go on to face Witch Doctor wow three two one go a good old-fashioned spinner versus flipper match up here Mad Cat are very very low to the ground at the front of the machine they can certainly get underneath Banshee Banshee Messing with the flipper there. Not the most powerful flipper in the world, Banshee. Will that affect their performance in this fight? I imagine it probably will do. They're now upside down, but they can, of course. Self right. Mad Catter persistent here. Not letting up. Not giving Banshee any room to breathe, really. But Banshee trying to flip, but they can't. They just seem to not be powerful enough. Not underneath enough to overturn Mad Catter. Mad Catter now driving them into the corner. That's been a oh so powerful really showing it in this fight bits and bobs of the front fork seem to be flying off of Banshee and now Mad Cat are going for the pit release button Will one of these machines be going down it perhaps Banshee now on their sides not doing too well it has to be said our oh, Banshee not haven't really done much at all in this fight and they're down good driving by Mad Cat are there getting them down the pit Mad Catter win this fight. A solid performance by Mad Catter sees them to face either Spectre or Warhead. Which one will it be? Three, two, one, go. Two fantastic crushes going head to head here. I imagine this could be a very good controlled fight, unlike the last three matches, which were big hits galore. This could be a real test of driving skill here. Which machine can, can outmaneuver the other? And so far, I have to say, it's Spectre doing that. Now the pit going down. We saw what happened with the pit in the last fight. Banshee went down it. Now, Warhead being controlled to the side of the arena by Spectre and their big, powerful crusher. Most powerful crusher in the world. And what can they do to Warhead? Actually, missing with the crusher there. And Spectre... Are they moving? They seem to have stopped. And they're being counted out. You can't really see the count out timer. But they are. Warhead, I think they're still mobile. They're just a bit squashed in there. I think Spectre. Yep, Spectre. They're out. Bit of a confusing end to the fight there. But Warhead kept on working and Spectre did not. So, Warhead go on to face Mad Castle then. Three, two, one. Go. So, Witch Doctor would be expected to take down Black Widow with ease, but after Black Widow's last fight, who knows? Now, Witch Doctor actually caught in between the body of Black Widow and one of the Black Widow's legs. Can they get away? Witch Doctor flapping their self-writing arm, and I think, yes, they have, they have done so. 
They're away now. Now, will they retaliate to Black Widow? They'll definitely attempt to. And they do. Lovely string of hits there from, Wh Black, um, from Witch Doctor onto Black Widow. Now, sliding away the sides of Black Widow. Who aren't really doing a lot. Black Widow, a one-hit KO on Tombstone. An incredibly rare thing to see. Especially from a robot like Black Widow, who aren't exactly the most successful in the world. And now being backflipped as a result of Witch Doctor's spinning disc. Incredible stuff from Witch Doctor. Awesome power in that weaponry to do that to Black Widow, a big machine. And another big hit from Witch Doctor, who are really dominating the action in this battle. Now pushing Black Widow. Actually, the legs of Black Widow sort of acting as a mechanic as a sort of device to stop Witch Doctor's blade from hitting the side of their body. Almost like Tornado's razor proof cage in Rainbow War Series 6, if you remember to that. Bit of a controversial fight. Black Widow's legs sort of acting in the same way. And oh my goodness, that was an absolutely tremendous hit by Witch Doctor. Black Widow, they're out of the arena. They can't get back in. They're being counted out. And Witch Doctor, a fantastic performance by them. Sees them into the final. Well done to them. That was awesome. So then Witch Doctor, they go into the final to face like a mad catter or warhead. Three, two, one, go. So then, both good machines, but warheads did win their last fight. By luck, really, Spectre just sort of stopped in their tracks on their own accord. And now Warhead being slammed into the corner of the arena by Mad Catter. Nearly get them out of the arena. Now driving them backwards into the other arena corner. Really good speed and driving capability from Mad Catter. Warhead, they don't really know what to do. It's being bullied here. Being torn apart torn away that armour of warhead by Mad Catter's vertical disc. Such a prominent weaponry in Raybook combat nowadays. The vertical spinner. Really, really successful. Maybe crushes are getting a bit old perhaps because Warhead, they aren't really doing much in this fight. The pit's gone down. Mad Catter got Banshee down it in their previous battle. Will they get another pitting? Warhead might be too big to fit in the pit, actually. It's quite a large machine. Makes me wonder what would happen if Black Widow nearly went, in the, nearly went into the pit. Would they fit down it? Obviously, they're out of the competition, so they can't anymore. Warhead are dead on one side, driving round in circles. Mad Catter, a lot more mobile now. Actually driving into the crusher of Warheads. I think Warheads are being countered down. They're not moving. Mad Catter are moving. And that will mean Mad Catter will win this fight by KO. They do so. Mad Catter versus Witch Doctor. What a final that will be. This is it, folks. The final of our Halloween special Mad Catter vs Witch Doctor. The two best variables in the competition are now going to go toe to toe in our arena. Mad Catter on top so far, getting underneath Witch Doctor, and they're out of the arena! Witch Doctor, they're gone! Mad Catter winning record time! What an amazing Uta! Mad Catter take the victory of the special. Let's see that again. Whoop! Out of the arena. Go, Witch Doctor. So, Mad Catter win our Halloween special then. Happy Halloween, everyone. Thanks for watching this special edition, and I'll see you next time.